Let me give you a little bit of an introduction to something called engineering exponents. It's very closely related to scientific notation, but it makes use of the metric prefix system. And it's really a method of taking really large or really small numbers and putting them into the most appropriate units using metric prefixes. Now when we take a look at this, we want to first put our numbers into normal scientific notation. I'm assuming you know how that's done. If not, take a look at the Introduction to Scientific Notation video. But our first one is going to give us 3.2 e to the minus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And for our large number here, this is going to be 1.034 e to the plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 grams. So we have a very small number here and a very large number here. If we take a look at our chart for our metric prefixes, for our first one we had a minus 5. Now minus 5 is not one of our defined metric prefixes. Minus 6 is though, and that's going to be the closest one there, and that's micro. So what we're trying to do is ultimately we want to put this into a unit of micrograms. Similarly, on our large one here, we can take a look at it and say, okay, plus 8 is not one of these, but plus 9 is. Plus 9 is probably the closest there. So that gives us something in gigagrams. When we take a look at these, we can treat it then as a normal unit conversion. So in this case, I've got 3.2 e to the minus 5 grams and I want to go into micrograms and my definition here is that one microgram is one e to the minus six grams. That's what our metric table tells us. Now this is where using your e notation instead of your normal scientific notation makes it much easier to put it into your calculator. For this problem I'd have 3.2 to the minus fifth divided by 1 e to the minus 6 and that tells me that I've got 32. So our 0 0.00032 grams is most conveniently expressed as 32 micrograms. Similarly, I can do this with my large number here. I've got 1.034 e to the plus 8 grams and I'm trying to get that into gigagrams and giga, one gigagram would be one e to the plus nine grams. Putting that into my calculator I would have 1.034 e to the eighth divided by one e to the ninth and that tells me I've got 0 0.1034 gigagrams. Now, where you'd actually use a gigagram, I don't know, but we're working with the engineering exponents. Now notice this gives you a number that's slightly smaller than one. The other way we could have done this one is we could have looked at this and said, what if I have 1.034 e to the plus eight grams? and I wanted to express it in terms of megagrams. Sometimes they use the one which is just one below it. And so I would have one e to the plus six grams is one megagram. Solving that in my calculator, what I would find, switch this to a six, is that would be 103.4 megagrams. Either one of those is appropriate depending on the type of engineering exponent rules you follow. When we're working on this for our homework sections, what you're going to find is that on some of these problems they're already going to have the metric prefix that you want to use there and you have to figure out how to take your answer from scientific notation and put it into the requested engineering exponent.